What is going on guys, Gapsido here, bringing you another League of Legends commentary. And today I'm playing Needly, uh, well since I played Needly, this is actually a pretty old gameplay, but it's ranked. And the reason I picked this gameplay is because it's actually a 4v5 game. Um, because this Amumu decided to rage quit. There you go, he leaves right there. And it was because me and Yasuo, we were arguing about um, who uh, was going top and who was going mid. So I wanted to go mid, he wanted to go mid too. And uh, I got my will through, I guess. But Amumu decided to rage quit. It wasn't really a, a tense argument or anything. Uh, it was just, you know, please let me mid. And we both wanted it. So um, And then Amumu went like, okay, I'm going to AFK, bye. So we were all like, what the fuck? But 4v5 we're gonna try anyway, it's happened before. I've won games like this uh, before. So we knew that if we uh, were gonna win this game, we have to go super aggressive, start roaming, win our lanes, push the turrets and things. So we weren't really, I wasn't really thinking about winning the game in the f like um, at all when Amumu left, I think. But as we started to get kills, I think all of our um, kind of attitudes went up. <coughs> I'm sorry. And we thought, okay, maybe if we can get three kills, this is the third kill we're gonna get here. I'm gonna go in on Gragas right here. That's a stupid mistake. I'm gonna flash on top of him for one last basic attack. And if we can get three kills this early, we might as well just get the whole game because, I mean, we have nothing to lose. We got. It's a 4v5, they're gonna start, you know, having a bad attitude, oh my god, we can't, we can't lose a 4v5, and they're gonna start flaming each other if someone feeds and stuff, and so it, it's, it's not impossible, you should never surrender, even if it's 4v5, I've won several game, several games like this, and I'm gonna come in for a little, uh, roam that I think is failed, uh, but I'm gonna throw that spear, and kill, uh, Tristana right there. So we got five kills early and they probably think okay It's a 4v5 we can win this easily and they have that kind of attitude because I think I don't know if someone told them actually it's not a good idea You can flame all game about oh, I have an AFK But don't don't say it in all chat in the beginning of the game because especially if you have an AFK jungler like a Mumu this time um, because then the enemy jungler is gonna know that and he's gonna start invading and uh, set you back even more you know so that's never good we're gonna come up come here for a little I'm gonna go top for a little roam and rack up two kills so as I said you gotta roam a lot if you wanna win the 4v5 you can't just sit your lanes and pick your nose all game you gotta roam and it's pretty good uh, for a uh, need elite to roam. It's really good um, roaming champion uh, It's actually a topic that I wanted to bring up or a, th uh, a thing that I wanted to bring up and I was looking through my um, uh, Facebook feed or whatever you call it uh, a couple of days ago and I suddenly realized because I always share my videos on Facebook and I saw my video there and I thought okay This is this is probably um, this is probably me uh, sharing my video on Facebook and then I looked and I saw Elo Hell and it's actually it's a really famous Facebook page on uh, Facebook obviously it's a Facebook page duh uh, it's called Elo Hell and it has like 800,000 likes that's just insane and I, th I, I saw my video there and I was like wait a minute um, is this real and I thought, okay, League of Legends is bugging or something, and I clicked the video, I saw all the comments and everything, and I thought, what the fuck, is this actually happening? So, Elo Hell shared my video, I didn't even ask for it. Um, it the video, it was my uh, Katarina Pentakill. Um, it wasn't really anything special, I didn't put that much effort into the video. The thing with the video is that it was quite funny, because I first, I played a game with Katarina, and I had I went in for a 1v5 that game and I almost got a pentakill uh, but the last the le very last HP of that pentakill uh, was stolen by Jinx 
and he managed to steal my pentacle halfway across the map with his ult. So that is just terrible. Um, so I get really mad, and it's quite funny because the next game I played with Katarina uh, was actually a pentakill. I got a pentakill, and that was one v five ish. It wasn't really. It was a one v five when when I actually went in, but Siver uh, got a lot of damage on that um, on th that team before I went in. So I thought it was pretty cool that I almost got. Oops messed up my mic here it's almost it's pretty cool that I almost got two pentakills in uh, two games in a row and I made it kind of kind of a funny video that I think you guys liked so the video didn't even have thousand views yet it had about about uh, 900 and someone on elo hell decided or the uh, the admin or whoever runs that page decided to actually get a kill there forgot to uh, lower the speed right there I usually slow down the parts where I get kills and get killed and stuff but I forgot so I got eight kills right now uh, which is pretty nice but back on topic again um, so they shared my shared my video and it didn't even have thousand views so I thought why the hell would they share my video like if it was one video that I thought could be shared it would have been my one of my trolls troll spotlights or champion parodies what whatever you want to call them um because they're the most famous but this didn't i uploaded this the day before and it didn't even have a thousand subs or a thousand views so they shared it and the best part about it is that when when i uh, noticed it on facebook i sent a message to elo hell and i asked if they could give me some credit and put my link um in the description of the video they shared and they did and uh, they were happy to uh, they were happy that I uh, sent a message and they they immediately uh, changed the description so I had my link there and like over the course of like 24 hours or something I got like 350 new subs or something I had around 2400 when this happened and then now I have about 2,900 just because of this uh, they shared my video and it's those kind of boosts you get if like someone famous shares your video and I didn't even ask for it you know it was really uh, surprising when I saw that on my Facebook uh, page completely random uh, back into the game a bit. I'm gonna go. Uh, they're gonna try to chase us because uh, we're both low. And I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna get the kill on Tristana and start pushing again. And me and Cillian, we're both staying in lane. So Pathian is gonna chase me with Lulu uh, or with Cillian. He's gonna chase me. And I do a mistake here. Instead of. Um, no, actually not right there but I'm gonna spear him and instead of healing myself here or waiting for myself to get my heal up I go into cougar form and I throw the spear before healing myself Pantheon turns gets the kill and I get a bit greedy there um, so we managed to get like an inhibitor after like 20 15 minutes or something 15 minutes or 20 I don't know but really early inhibitor, they probably didn't expect this um, to be a loss for them. We win quite hard, even if it's a 4v5. That's, I, This is what I mean, Like this is around roughly around gold elo. I think I was gold, gold 4 when I got this gameplay. And it's still, you can win every game. You should never have a bad attitude. Th that's the worst thing about the community, that people have so bad attitudes all the time. For example, uh, I played a game uh, a couple of days ago, I can't remember, and I played Shen. Uh, I accidentally picked Shen because I thought I was going top, and our team didn't have an AD carry. And I wasn't trolling or anything, but everyone uh, told the enemy team to report me because I didn't pick an AD carry. Obviously, I should have done that, but I didn't know. I was, I, I don't know, I was sleeping or something. And then we had to play with uh, Leona and Shen in bot lane, and I gotta say we won the game. We won the lane, and Udir ganked. We had so much CC. I imagine that CC like Udir comes in with the stun, 
I taunt him. Leona goes in with his her um, root thingy, and then he she stuns, and then she uses her ult to stun. If you use all that CC on Jinx, she can't do anything, and you got quite a lot of damage. So I went with a pretty squishy uh, sh Bruiser Shen build, but we managed to win the lane. But we had a guy in our team. I think uh, he was playing Cannon. And he had so, such a bad attitude all game because I didn't pick an AD carry. And there's nothing I can do about it. I, I can't pick an AD carry after the game is, you know, uh, after the game has started. And we won the early game. But he lost his lane and he blamed it on me because I didn't pick an AD carry. What the fuck? Can't we just try to win and, you know, be done with it? Like, it's not impossible. You should never surrender because you you have a bad team comp or something uh, once you're in the game try to win there's nothing to lose right so I actually never surrender even if I know we're gonna lose the game I never surrender because I think it's fun to just I don't know I, I just I just don't click the surrender button it's it's impossible for me I don't know whatever thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next video peace Thank <laughs> you.